so now it's time to learn how to actually create a Magic Online account. So step one is go to the Wizards homepage, magic.wizards.com. Once you get there, you go to game info here up on the top, products, and then Magic Online. And this will take us to the Magic Online homepage. So we're going to be heading to this download now link. I did want to mention really quickly, this is a good page to know because this is a page that shows you everything about Magic Online, upcoming events, announcements, if there's any bugs. So it's it's good to remember this site because you probably want to go back to it in the future. But anyway, we're going to download now. So click the download now link and then you'll go right here and click download now. I'm not actually going to do it because I already have Magic Online. After the program starts downloading, we're going to head down here and click create an account. Also, if you scroll down a little more, there's some system requirements. The good news is, if your computer is halfway functional, it should be able to run Magic Online. Also though, I did want to mention, if you are trying to play Magic on a Mac or any non-Windows system, you're going to have to take some extra steps because Magic Online is built specifically for Windows and not supported uh, for other operating systems. So. I don't know all those steps, but they are out there. So searching Google, there's some good tutorials that'll show you uh, how to run Magic Online on a Mac. But assuming you're running in Windows, you got the program downloading, then you just go to create an account here. And now we gotta do a couple things. First off, we need to enter our birth date, click continue. Then it asks, how much experience do you have playing Magic the Gathering? So pick whatever one applies the best to you. I'm gonna pick lots, cause I've played a lot of Magic. And now we need to do a couple things to actually join Magic Online. First, we need to enter our email. Then we need to choose a username. And then you gotta choose a password, confirm it, then pick a security question, click down here that you agree, and then you'll click continue down here at the bottom. And then you need to enter your billing information, so name, phone number, street address. Uh, down here you'll enter your credit card information or you can use PayPal. Uh, altogether, Magic Online costs $9.99 plus whatever applicable taxes there are, so a little bit over $10 uh, in the US. So fill all this stuff out. So once you get everything filled out, you just click complete purchase down here. So we're gonna go ahead and click complete purchase. So then you'll get an email in your email account that you'll need to use to activate your Magic Online account. So before you actually get in the game, you gotta go to your email and activate it. So I'm gonna do that and then I will show you the game itself. So once you activate your account in your email and the program finishes downloading, you'll have this little Magic Online icon on your desktop, you can click on that and it will actually start the program and then you'll enter your information and password in here and then just click log in and now you're gonna have to do a couple things before it lets you start when you have a new account basically you're only eligible for prizes under certain conditions so make sure you read this and choose whichever one applies to you and then it'll ask you if you're eligible for player rewards do the same thing click OK and then you are in Magic Online so there's a few tabs as you can see across the top this is the home page that we're at now uh, you can see this is where your buddies will be down here so let's go through these tabs first off the collection tab so this is where you'll find your cards so you get some things when you sign up for a Magic Online account so to find these things, we need to go to other products, and then there you see, new account starter kit. So this contains everything you get when you create a new account. So let's right click this, and we need to open this up. So let's open one of these. So right click, open one of these. It'll ask you to confirm, yes, we wanna open it. And now we get to see what comes in this little package. So first off, we have a few avatars. Those are just uh, for making things look cool. Some card, looks like Magic Origins cards, a small number of rares, a bunch of commons and uncommons, nothing too exciting, but some stuff that you can start playing with. And then you can see we also have five event tickets. Event tickets are basically the currency of Magic Online. They are worth about a dollar. One event ticket equals out to a dollar. You use those to enter events and also to buy cards in the game. And then we get some new player points which you can use to enter certain new player focused events. And then, of course, if we click our filter from other product back to cards, we can see the cards that we actually get in our starter pack. So, like I said, they're mostly commons and uncommons. You can't really do a ton with just these cards as far as making a competitive deck. 
the lands will come in useful so there's some cool things in here you can sort by different options like by rarity for example so the rares come out on top or alphabetically there's also a bunch of filters over here so you can filter by color so this will show only the white cards uh, by type so if you want to find just instance uh, so get used to those it's really handy if you've ever used the gatherer website it's very similar to that so you can use it for sorting and making decks also another trick it took me a while to figure this out there's this quantity tab up here it default sets to at least one card but you can turn this down to zero and if you turn this down to zero this will show you even cards that you don't own. See these ghosted cards? So you can build decks even with cards that aren't in your collection and then get the cards afterwards. Or use this just as a tool to do research and look up cool cards. So if you go over here and type in extra turn, this is gonna show us all the cards on Magic Online that can let us take an extra turn, even though we don't own these cards and can't play with them yet. Uh, but it can give you ideas like capture of Ginju. I what is that who would have ever known that was a card so it can help you find cards that you can use so that's the collection tab we're gonna turn this back off so it only shows cards that we actually own and not all cards so that's the collection tab then we have the play lobby this is where you will go to actually get in a game of magic there's a bunch of different options and filters here we're not gonna go too in depth in this now because we'll talk about it more when we actually enter an event then we have the store tab which is how you can buy things from wizards of coast it's actually a lot like a physical store you can buy boosters you can buy intro packs and commander decks and so forth the one thing that they don't sell is singles singles you either have to get from a vendor or an outside dealer or you get them through booster packs but word of advice don't open booster packs on magic online usually a losing proposition and Typically, you don't want to buy stuff from the store. Most of the things you can get cheaper in other ways. The only thing that you really need to buy from the store is event tickets. So that's usually all you want to buy in the store. And then everything else you can get in other ways for less money. So it's usually inefficient to buy things from the store. And then there's this trade tab. We're not going to get into this now, but this is how you can trade for cards and also buy cards from vendors. And then we also have the account tab. The account tab has a couple of important things not only does it have your settings and everything but a couple of cool things in here it has game history uh, so if you click this it'll auto save any drafts that you do so once you start playing you will get a huge list of all the different games that you've played it also shows you your limited and constructed and combined ratings so you can go back and find old matches that you've played see the replays of those matches also your order order history all that kind of stuff so it's good to know what you can do in here. And finally, there's a help tab where the most important feature is chat with support. So if you get stuck, you can click this chat with support link and it'll pop up a chat window where you can talk with someone in game live to answer questions for you or help you with any of your problems. So now that we have a Magic Online account, the next thing we need to do is build a deck so we can actually start playing Magic. So I will be back in a second to show you how to build a deck in Magic Online.